Hey, y'all. All right, so it is uh, late in the day, and I am trying to get out of here. It's like 6.30. No, I don't even know what time it is. So I have a uh, update. So I didn't get the police called on me. We called the police. Actually, we had a meeting with Constable. Mr. Uh, Mr. Dude that decided to call the cops on me from my video, the last police thing, the neighbor, he, uh, uh, the, the, he was protecting his neighbor who was still living in the house and who has since moved on and the house was spotless when we broke in uh, with the sheriff or constable there. And uh, so the neighbor didn't even come outside. In fact, while we, when we came, we were waiting on the constable to come up and when the constable got there, we zoomed in on the house like we usually do. And I went straight to the door. It is, uh, it only had one door on there, but it was a bar door um, with a, a metal door behind it and defined locks on it. Didn't really get any video, nothing happened besides me just opening the door. Luckily, he only had locked the knob on the bar door and everything else was unlocked. So all I had to do was pick the knob and uh, it was like really crunchy, so it took me a minute. I had to go get my lubricant and spray it, and the, the constable was like, should have opened by now, right? And I'm like, well, <laughs> ideally it opens immediately, but sometimes it's not the case. So anyway, I got it open after like two or three minutes, so no problem there. And I went in before the constables. They were off in the front yard talking, and as soon as I opened the door, I went in just doing my thing and let them come in behind me. So I had backup on that one. But Mr. Neighbor, Mr. Uh, asshole next door never came out to uh, irritate us for anything. So uh, that was kind of late in the day and I kind of got ahead of myself. But I went to Home Depot today to take back that, uh, I got a magnetizer, demagnetizer. That's uh, Klein makes one. It doesn't demagnetize, guys. I got it from my tweezers to try to remove the magne magnetism in my tweezers. But I'm just going to have to order a new set. I had a pair of titanium tweezers that were super sweet and uh, I've been eyeing it on eBay. They're like 25 bucks for tweezers, which is expensive tweezers, but y'all know me and my tweezers. I've still got my mega tweezers somewhere around here. I hadn't modified it yet, but I'll get around to that one day. But uh, uh, anyway, so I had to take the magnetizer, demagnetizer back. It's a good idea. I didn't think it would work, but luckily you could do it in, in the package. I didn't have to open it or anything. So I bought a key at Home Depot. Yep. This is a meter key, a water meter key. Jackson recently just went through a debacle and they switched out all of them with these wireless meter uh, lids and they lock with this key, this $12 key right here. And yeah, I could have made it. And actually I have, I had, I hope I'm recording. Am I recording? Oh yeah, I am recording. I have some railroad keys. It's like a big railroad key, really. A really big railroad key. Here's my hand in comparison. They had a wrench key combo, but I've already got like one of those tall wrenches. But anyway, like two years ago, they came around and put in the meter lid boxes and they have got locks on them. And if you like bust it open for no non-emergency reason, I'm sure you'll get an expensive bill. But we've been having the city's about to sue the people who put those in because there's so many problems with it. Our water bills are out of control. People go for months at a time without getting water bills and then they'll get crazy water bills. Luckily, we have not experienced that here in the shop. Our bills stay stable, comes in time every day, every month it comes on time. But <clears throat> while I have one of those new box lids, mine is in the ground and they just kind of set it on top. They actually didn't excavate it and raise it up like they should have. They just popped our metal lid off and slapped this thing on and you can just go out there and move it. But uh, other ones down the street, and I'm gonna take you down in a minute and clip that video in, but other ones down the street um, have that. So I'm gonna stop this video to put that part in. It's not down, but. How do you work this thing? Now there it goes. Yeah. Just 
correct in that spring loaded mechanism right there. I know you can't see it because it's dark. There we go. Thank you, light. So, anyway, that is. Water meter key. I hate those things. Anyway, so that's how that works. Like I said, I could probably pop mine out, but my neighbors down the street do have them out on the uh, sidewalk right here. Specifically, my buddy's down at the barrel house. There's, there'll be the ones that'll eventually be like, hey, I need your key. So, being the locksmith of the hood, it's better for me to have a key than not have a key. That's actually a metal one that they drilled the cap on. Alright. Water meter key. So, yeah, water meter box key. I'm going to go try it, actually. Or, I did go try it. And, anyway... Spider killer while I was there. I hate spiders. I actually had a can of this in my truck, but I just noticed that my, out in my yard near my post office box, near my mailbox, oh shoot, uh, near my mailbox has uh, spider webs in it. So I'm about to go and I, I'm gonna use that whole can on my, it's a pretty big bush. The rust, have y'all ever tried this? Let me know. Need to get some rust off, not this file, but some files that I've kept in my truck that got wet. I don't know if it's gonna damage the file or not, but the file's like totally coated in rust. So have y'all ever tried crud cutter? The must for rust. You almost need a freaking magnifying glass to be able to read that. Remember if someone had a clean parts, it doesn't say 30 minutes or less, and two applications. So anyway, I'm gonna see how that works on files. Hopefully it doesn't dissolve my file into a messy pile of rusty stuff. New thread locker. Yay, thread locker. I had these sitting out on my counter. <laughs> and they're all... They're all empty except for this one. This one. And I've done a thread locker video, but... The Permatex and then Loctite brand. And I'm actually, that one sounds like it's got a little bit in there. But I'm actually glad I bought it because when I was on a job just today uh, on a narcotics lock at a hospital, the doctor came up needing to get into it. And I had my, my Loctite that I have in my truck, my last full one, um, I had it in my hand and I turned around and I kind of like moved a little bit. And I guess I squeezed it because I looked down at my hand and it was blue. Oh God, like I said in my Loctite video, that's the worst feeling because the bluer your hand, it means you just lost a lot of money. It's like $3 in, in blue goo. So I was not happy about that at all. All right, super glue, a two pack of Gorilla Super Glue because my oldest has been bugging me about super glue. And uh, an interesting thing here that I wanted to talk about. Y'all know me and my plastic containers. It looks like, this is all Home Depot stuff. But it looks like Husky just changed their plastic containers. They were, I guess this was Husky. Is that Husky? Yep, that's Husky brand. So they redesigned them, guys. They used to be this and this that you see I'm keeping batteries in right now. And let me get this. Uh, I got a stool right here. Oh, stay. So, they are thinner, shorter, and bigger as well. But, um, so yeah, they redesigned them. I don't know if you're going to be able to get these anymore or not. 
This one was $9.97. This originally was $15.97, and then they dropped it to like $13.97 for sales. And then the smaller ones, which I, I bought this. Yep, it's only one of these I've got. I've got three of these big ones, but um, got rubber feet on it. And it's just a smaller version. And I like it because it's only got one clasp so that it's quicker. That's another thing is the clasp. You got one clasp. It really feels like heavier duty plastic than these new ones. But the new ones have three clasps. Presumably if you break one, you'll still have two. And it comes with dividers and this one was $5.97 so whereas this one was $9.97 so this one is the same price as this one I don't know if they're gonna be carrying these much longer guys but if you have a need for these you might want to check out your Home Depot um, because invariably they're not gonna carry both so I'm guessing these will be phased out for these newest ones which, like I said, the plastic seems thinner. And it probably is based on the price. So this one's going to be a heavier duty. And uh, bigger but flatter. So they're both bigger but flatter. So instead of being deeper, they made them thinner and bigger. So these will be good in my new Pelican case. I got this specifically for that so that I could put it down in there. Hopefully it will hold what I needed to. I was thinking about pulling some of these dividers out and putting my chisels in there along with some of the common strike. But again, I don't like, I just don't like four, having to unsnap four mechanisms. So, just a word of warning, if you, uh, plus it's loud, like every one, it's like, it's like Velcro. <laughs> you can't quietly do that, whereas at least with one, you can be like. <coughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I'm going to, either, I was going to use this one initially in my kit, but I put batteries in it. So now that I've got that, I may move the batteries to here and use it instead. I don't know, but whatever the case is, if you like this design with the one lap, heavier plastic, and it comes with a carabiner, which is actually a really nice, heavy carabiner. Not for climbing, not for climbing, duh. Um, yeah, no carabiner, saved on the cost of them, and uh, no way to clip it, that's another thing. You can't clip it, there's no hole. This one at least, both of these have holes that you can clip to, and these have none. So there is another thing, if you want to get some heavier duty plastic versions with only one snap, you better rush out to your favorite Home Depot today to get that, um, because they are probably not gonna be sold for much longer. So anyway, that is it, guys. I am out of here. Like I said, it's like 6.45 now. And I really wasn't meaning to do a video, but I figured I'd catch up. Bronx Lockpicker 60, not Bronx Lockpicker 59, but he got his package. He did a video on it. I'll put a link up here if you want to check out him opening, uh, where he's opened up his package. If you haven't already seen it, and other than that, I have, uh, I've got to go. So see you guys later. Take it easy.